what did you see there? Looked like you were frustrated that you just missed finding the ball there. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, A Rod kind of threw it low, and I was able to get my hands on it. Uh, maybe, hopefully, you know, next time I'll, I'll try to catch a queen. But um, yeah, you're right. The way it was going tonight, did you feel like even when you made a play, there might be a flag flying at some point? There's so many. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we at the end of the day, we can't we can't control the calls. We can't control what the refs call. So um, just really keep playing and, um, you know, ne next play mentality. I didn't know if you talked about – oh, I'm sorry, you talked about it, but you're coming back, Taryn coming back, making a huge play. What was it like to be back out and then experience a game like this where it came to the end? Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to be back uh, in action. Obviously, tearing back too. So, uh, you know, good guy, good to get guys back healthy and um, you know the the normal defense out there. So it's always good to be back in action. With all the flags in this game, we're so uneven, so off. To be able to come out as the team on top, what does it say about this team? You know, in terms of keeping your composure and you know making that one extra play. Yeah, you know, we're we're a resilient team. You know, we're we're gonna we're gonna always fight to the end. Um, and you know, it's just a testament of the DNA of these guys in the locker room, um, coaching staff, um, all, all the all the guys in the locker room. Man, we're we're resilient. Two big red zone stops in the third quarter. What was different about that spot? Where you know, it seemed like the rest of the game there obviously were some leaks and some things you had to clean up. Yeah, I mean, you know, the game is never going to be perfect. Um, so, you know, all we can do is really head back to the film room tomorrow. You know, we got a short week coming back, playing on Monday night. So um, just try to clean things up and, and just try to move forward. From your vantage point, what happened on the Hail Mary there? Yeah, I mean, you know, it was, it was one of those kind of in-between calls where we, um, you know, not sure if they're going to convert to a Hail Mary or, you know, they're going to go for another chunk play. So, um, you know, just one of those one of those tough, tough calls, situation calls um, that – you know, we'll, we'll get back to the drawing board and, and uh, we'll be better from it. Is that, is that something you practice against? For sure, Mary? for sure. That's, that's something we, 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 uh, we definitely practice. Um, you know, it's obviously a tough situation when it's, you know, you could do anything to convert to a Hail Mary. And obviously A-Rod, he's got a great arm and able to buy time. So, you know, it's just it's tough to be on the uh, uh, long end of that. But, um, you know, obviously we, all, all we got to do is just, you know, look, look at how we can get better from that and uh, correct it.